Another simple but effective thing you can do to improve the performance of your Drupal 8 site is simply to uninstall any unused contributed modules. This may sound like an obvious suggestion or a weird one because if you have unused modules on your site, there's really no sense for them to have been there in the first place a lot of the time. But this does happen pretty commonly. Let's look at the extend portion of the admin menu. This is where, as you probably know, we see our list of modules that are on the site and that are available to us. It's common during the development of a site to install a contributed module and then later decide that you don't actually need it or that you need some other solution instead. So you don't end up using it. Additionally, there are modules such as Devel that are only meant for sites in development and they're not meant to be used on production sites. In those cases, instead of just leaving them sitting on your site, it's best for a performance and as a best security practice to go ahead and uninstall those modules. When you have modules that are enabled but that aren't being used on your site, that's one more thing that the system is checking every time a page is loaded, any time an action is done, to see if it needs to alter the site's behavior based on that module. So if it's sitting there not being used, your site's checking it for essentially no reason, and you'll want to go ahead and get rid of it. We haven't installed any contributed modules in this tutorial, so we don't have any to uninstall. But if you're familiar with the Drupal 7 process, it's a little bit different with Drupal 8. In Drupal 7, you could simply disable a module by clicking its checkbox and then saving your settings. In Drupal 8, you have to uninstall the module completely to disable it. And we do that simply by clicking on the uninstall tab here on our extend page. And this will give us all of the modules that we can uninstall, namely the ones that aren't being used on the site. And a lot of the time I really recommend only uninstalling contributed modules, not core modules because those are going to come back anytime you update your version of Drupal 8. So again, a simple but effective thing you can do is just to keep your module installations clean. When there's a module that you stop using, go ahead and uninstall it from the site entirely. And it doesn't hurt to also remove it from your file system manually as well, just so that it's one more thing that your site is worrying about anytime it delivers a page to a visitor.